Thank you very much. So uh, we have two items today. The first one is a public hearing and a motion on the proposal by Camp Somerset to use the town hall and grounds this summer. And the second item is the town manager's report that was deferred from the meeting on Tuesday night. So we will start with the Camp Somerset item and I will turn it over to the town manager to present. Sure, thank you. And we are uh, joined as well today by uh, Christy Bonanno and uh, Jillian Edick, who are two members of the Somerset Elementary PTA and who have coordinated with um, with our office and the mayor uh, in in uh, in helping to to try to put together a plan to make Camp Somerset work this year. Um, as you may remember, last year, unfortunately, Camp Somerset wasn't able to happen. And so they've been working very hard to make sure that it's not two years in a row and that um, all, the, all the kids, uh, especially the kids in Somerset that missed Camp Somerset so much last year are able to partake in the fun this summer. And so they had been proceeding with the um, I think with the the hope and the expectation that they would be able to use the school again as the main site for Camp Somerset. As a reminder, the majority of Camp Somerset takes place at the Somerset Elementary School and the town has historically loaned um, the, the town, one of the town tennis courts and the town pool throughout the summer um, as an add-on uh, activity for, for the camp. Um, unfortunately, because of Montgomery County Public Schools uh, plans and closings and openings and, and all of that um, and capacity restrictions, they elected not to allow extracurricular activities to take place at the school at the same time that summer school was happening this year. And so that left them sort of scrambling. And because the majority of the children who partake in Camp Somerset are children of Somerset residents and, and residents themselves who live, live here, um, naturally they, they thought of a convenient spot as the uh, Pella Park area outside the town hall. And so we went back and forth a little bit and uh, I, I attached their proposal letter for you. Um, they've uh, been willing and able to adapt their plans as necessary to accommodate the, the town hall needs as well in terms of being as little disruption as possible to town activities during the daytime um and i won't go through you know what we, what we talked about in, in great detail but sort of where we ended was that the 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 camp itself would take place outside that they were going to uh, they've secured some tents to set up for the outside area. Um, they have even rented portable bathrooms to be placed outside so that um, nobody is forced to go into the town hall to, to use the bathrooms. The one caveat is they have a nurse that will be stationed inside. And if there is an issue, they'll be radioed out and go to a nursing tent outside and otherwise they have a small tray which will keep the, the kids cold lunches in the air conditioned area in the town hall, but that will be wheeled back out again for lunchtime outside. Days that are rainy, uh, whereas normally they, they do an indoor day are unfortunately just gonna be canceled this year um, and, and, kid, and uh, parents notified about that ahead of time. Um, so I, I I, I would recommend that we uh, approve the Camp Somerset 
um, request to use the town hall, uh, the town green space this summer, um, to the end of June and through the month of July. Um, they will be using the, we've already agreed to let them use the tennis courts. They have elected not to use the town pool again to be as a small of disruption to the rest of the town as possible. Um, but I think we've come to a good compromise. Um, happy okay. To, okay, happy thank to, you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Mr. Town Manager. I just wanted to add a couple things. One is that um, uh, the there was there was an earlier proposal that was reviewed by the council president, and um, instead of putting this on agendas for earlier meetings this week, we continue to meet with the Camp Somerset leadership team to address all of the concerns of the council president. So that's why there was a, that's why there's been a little bit of a delay. I do want to thank the, um, the parents for their creativity and hard work and coming up with this um, proposal. And I also want to say that uh, unfortunately our town attorney wasn't able to attend this meeting today. So if you, when you make a motion to hopefully approve this, it could be on the condition that it's reviewed by the town attorney until it's finally signed by the, by the town manager. And then I, I also want to be clear that Matt did consult, the town manager did consult with the, with the staff to make sure they, they were comfortable with um, the, um, how it would any way impact the activities of the office. And it's, very, it's extremely minor, it's extremely minor especially that the fact that there will be no use of the bathrooms and which is really better for the camp to have it under their control anyway. So, so with that, uh, Council President Shaw, do you have any questions? No, I do wanna say I appreciate how hard um, the Camp Somerset team has uh, worked to address uh, any concerns I might've had or others might've had. So thank you very much. Thank you, Council Member Zoighauser. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I do have one question, Matt. Uh, Jeffrey said that you talked with the staff. Did you talk with the uh, maintenance crew as well uh, and discuss with them maintaining the, the area during the time that camp is in session? Because I assume they'll, that the hours will conflict. Do you have that, yeah. all, do you have that all figured out? Yes, and that's something that uh, Chrissy and, and Jillian and I, Jillian and I have have talked about. Um, so we're going to have just a fixed schedule. We've we've worked out exactly how long it takes and how often uh, that area is taken care of and maintained. So um, we're we're going to make it work in the schedule. Great, thank you so much. That's it. Thank you, Council Member Peel. Do you have any questions? Uh, my only question has to do with drop off and pick up, and I wondered if the um, the Camp Somerset people could just explain how they see that happening, what the vision is for that. Hi, um, I'm Chrissy Zanano. Is it okay for me to? Yes, me? yes, she addressed it to you. Um, so we are working on what that plan would be. And our initial plan is that we would have um, different drop off locations based on the level of camp. So we have mini camp, juniors, and seniors. Um, we're putting out a survey. Most of our campers walk. Right, good. So the, the number of cars should be relatively low Great. considering that we've cut camp. Um, so we've significantly cut down the numbers for camp and the majority of the children walk. Um, but we will have drop-off locations likely on Little Cumberland. Um, and we could, we're toying with like how we would do that. Do we do it closer to the school and then have the children walk down the sidewalk? Because we don't really want to be like stopping traffic so close to Wisconsin. So one thing I just want to mention is that um, just the other night we approved a building permit for a house on Little Cumberland. So I'm a little concerned that that could get um, complicated for the trucks and the kids and safety and so on. And, and 
I guess you may have already thought of this, but I just wonder whether it would in fact be safer to have the kids walk on Dorset, given that. Maybe you could just take a look at it and see what you think. But if they walked out on the grassy part of Dorset and then walked on the sidewalk in Dorset, that might be safer, even though it would be longer. Um, you know, to the extent that that construction starts to sort of snarl things up, I think you might want to think about that. I really appreciate that. I actually live right next door to that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm at 4521. So I've been. Okay. Uh, so that, you're on top of that. I didn't okay. think about that at all until you brought it up. So I really okay. appreciate that. Okay, sure. We'll just take a look at it and see what you think. That's my only okay. question. Okay, thank you. Council Member Circa, do you have any questions? No questions. I mean, I'm really glad we're, we were able to consider doing something for Camp Somerset. Thank you, Council Member Barr. Uh, you answered my earlier question on an excessive heat, so you're, you're going to close also when there's an excessive heat advisory. I hope you could weather then in July because it's going to be limiting that. Anyway, it, it sounds very exciting. I'm glad that you've been so creative as to come up with a solution. I've got no questions. Okay, thank you. Mr. Town Manager, has any resident or guest indicated they would wish to speak to this item? Yes, um, it looks like the Zaft family maybe has a comment or question. Um, hi, my name is Gina Zaft. I live on Dorset and I was hoping that you guys would allow Camp Somerset to be at the town hall field. I got to Camp Somerset since before I was in kindergarten and it was super fun and something I did every summer prior to go. But the reason why I would love to have Camp Somerset at the town hall field is because doing so will allow lots of kids to be able to have a fun, safe summer activity during this pandemic. I'm hoping that you will approve it at Town Hall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, anyone else, Mr. Town Manager? Um, hi, I'm Jill. Yep, we have one more, one more comment from, uh, looks like, it says Natalie Williams. Is that is that who it is? Yes. Um. I live on Warwick Place, and Camp Somerset was the first camp I went to when I was young, and I have lots of memories. And I was hoping other young people could have memories there too this year. So I hope that we can have. So I hope we can have the camp there this year. Thank you, Natalie. Where where do you where do you go to school? Where, where do you go to school, Natalie? Oh, she go, I think I, we can't hear her, but she said she goes to Somerset Elementary. May I make a comment, Mr. Mayor? Of course. Uh, that my son, who's now 32 years old, was a counselor at Camp Somerset probably more than 20 years ago. And to this day, he still talks about how much fun he had being a counselor at Camp Somerset. So go team Camp Somerset. Okay, thank you. Ms. Is, there, is, is there someone else, Mr. Tenman? Yes, I believe we have one more comment. Okay. Um, my name is Joey Edick and I live on Warwick Place and Camp Somerset. I went to it before kindergarten and it really taught me how to socially interact with other kids. And it was super fun. And I just really hope that other kids get to have fun this year too. Well, thank you. Where where do you where do you go to school? Somerset. Okay, great. I, I do think for the record, everyone, that i it's my understanding a majority of the of the campers are from the town, which is also very nice. So okay, is that is that the last one, Mr. Manager? It is, yes. Okay, that concludes the public testimony. And Council, are you prepared to make a motion? I move that we accept the proposal from Camp Somerset, subject to a review by our town attorney. Is there a second? I saw appeal first. Is there discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? All those opposed, thank you. Thank you very much to all the students who took time off from school to be here today. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good summer. <laughs> uh, 
And now our next and final item. I'll is... reach out to you, Chrissy, um, this afternoon or, or on Monday, and we can then um, move forward with next steps. I just want to thank the council so much and the staff. We are so, I mean, this is a make or break year for us, and we are so appreciative of all the support that you have given us. I, I cannot tell you the relief that we feel right now as parents and as uh, community members. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so now we will have the town manager's report. And the, in the interest of time, I hope you'll be brief. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it brief because I, a lot of the things that I have on here- There's been a lot, of meetings. Are, a lot are, of meetings this week. Yes, yes. Um, so uh, in relation to the, the budget, um, I won't go over the numbers specifically, but just a uh, reminder that both our income and property tax revenues are down this year. Um, I think that council president has put a, a follow-up discussion on this issue on the council work session next week. So I won't, I won't, um, I won't spend any more time going over this um, since we are discussing it later, but just highlighting that for you. Um, the uh, apiary has been built over in the, um, the wooded area in Vinton Park. So um, I met over there with Barton and Enrique and they made quick work of it. So, um, so now we'll just arrange for um, drop-offs and to get that up and running. So, um, uh, the Equity Inclusion Committee has uh, opened up, a, they want to do a, a safe space talk to discuss some of the recent um, uptick in Asian and American Pacific Islander hate that has taken place in the country and um, that has affected so many people. Um, psychologically, mentally, and otherwise, and so felt that it was a good opportunity to put together a, a forum for community residents to, to have a discussion about that topic together. And so that'll, that'll be next, uh, next Thursday, I, I believe, is when it is. Um, the uh, uh, Public Safety Committee has a, a, a survey that will be considered by the council at the work session next week. And hopefully, I think their, their hope is that it could be approved at May to go out that month. Um, the uh, Tennis Committee has approved changes to the tennis rules this year and so they would like that to be considered as well at the next meeting am i frozen no yep. can you hear me though at least can. okay um, i have a question on that okay so uh, hold on there's going to be a question after he gives his report okay. um just really quickly, so the the uh, I expect to finish the audit RFP. I'm going to try to finish it this week to go to the audit committee next week and for them to look it over. And um, I think the plan will will be to select a contractor at the the June meeting. Um, and that that sort of concludes my report. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'm happy to take them. Okay, thank you. Council President Shaw, go for it. So um, is the tennis committee expecting we're gonna take a look at um, their rules at the work session and then put it on the May agenda or what's the expectation? Well, I think that they had just updated the rules. And so I think that they had just wanted it to be approved at the May meeting, but- um, That's fine. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to be clear. Um, 
You were going to check on the minutes of the Parks and Natural Resources Committee about whether or not they um, approved uh, asking for some funds. Yes, I need to update the budget um, for that. Yes, yeah, so thank you for um, noting that. Okay, and then the last question I have is, um, are you thinking about switching to a different energy provider to get clean energy, electric energy? I have not personally done very much on that, but I know that that's something that the Environment Committee has looked into. Um, I, as I understand it, there's the the there's the energy provider, and then there's the energy supplier, and they're actually two different things. So our bill would always come through Pepco, but Pepco has partnerships with. Um, various clean energy companies that we could get our energy through clean energy. Uh, usually those involve a, a contract that locks you into more um, fixed rates instead of the more variable rates that you get through Pepco. Um, but they're usually pretty affordable rates. And so um, I, I would be happy to, to look into that with the Environment Committee. I think they're kind of doing preliminary research on that at the moment. My one point would be that uh, if the town decides to switch and there's sort of a rebate or reward for doing that, that the town get that as part of its budget. Mm, thank you, yeah. That's it for me, thank, thank you. Thank you, Council Member Zoidhauser. Um, I think I'm in listening to uh, in hearing from Camp Somerset, I'm just thankful we didn't put the bees by the basketball court because that <laughs> was a real issue. So I, I'm not sure, was it you, Franny, that decided to move it to a different place? I'm just thankful for you for uh, your forward thinking because that would have been a nightmare. But that's Patty Friedman actually was, I think, the original suggester. She took Barton over there to, to take a look. Oh, well, that I'll have to tell her and and can't Somerset should thank her. So <laughs> that's it for me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Councilor Peel, do you have any questions? Yes, I have two questions. Um, on the apiary, you just didn't mention the fence, Matt. What have you decided to do with that? Um, in term, uh, terms of the height? They got uh, they got six foot wiring, I, I believe. Um, we, we, that was what we that's what we discussed and then talked about. Um, so that's what they put up. Okay, great. Um, and then my only other question, which is not something you mentioned, but I wanted to follow up is that we have um, been talking about trying to get a water fountain installed at the tennis courts before the end of this fiscal year. And I just wondered if you want to go out there and look at it together or if you have any, I know we yeah. talked about so, it really, but. Yeah, um, I'm happy to, discuss that with you. Um, okay. I think that the part of the issue with it is the money that we have budgeted won't cover what we need to do there. And so um, I, maybe we just need to strategize about how we would like to move forward with it if we well, just... Well, let's put that... So um, when we meet with Next week, we meet with the council president. So we'll, we'll discuss that and we'll okay. get back to you. I, I don't know exactly what you're imagining. I know that we've moved past the idea of doing the water bottle filling station, like the ones that need to be covered. I, and I haven't been on site to look at it, but in my mind, we're just looking for something. that's a water fountain that has a gooseneck faucet so that you can hold a water bottle under it and fill it without having to hold it sideways. Okay, so, so we will- we'll, Relatively we'll, basic, so I don't know how much that would cost. Okay, but, we'll, we'll put okay. that on the agenda and get back to you next week. And I'm week. not sure we need to change. If there's, if there's something already out there that's relatively accessible, I don't know whether we need to go too far and change the location. I think it's just maybe refreshing it and making it a little easier for people to fill their own bottles since that's what people tend to do now is bring bottles. Okay. Anyway, I want to bring it All up right. before we lose track of it. That's it. Yeah, but thank we'll, you. Well, we'll get back to you and we'll talk to the tennis committee too. Thank you. Council Member Circo, do you have any questions? No.
further questions, thank you for the update. Thank you, Councillor Barr. Uh, I'll, I'll just point out, uh, Matt, that if you're looking for clean energy providers, the Public Service Commission website um, has on it the complete list of um, clean energy providers for the Pepco area, um, and it shows their rates. And I think it shows any, you know, wards they give if for signing up too. So it's anyway, it's the Maryland Public Service Commission website. Okay, okay. thank you for that. Okay, thank you. So before we adjourn, I do want to thank the council again for the hours and hours of meetings you attended and prepared for this week. And also, if you have any questions of the building administrator, because we never got his report, please submit them to Matt and he will get them answered. And with that, is there a motion to adjourn? Moved. Thank you. Have a nice weekend, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend, everyone. Bye.